When your family is full of chartered accountants and commerce degrees, one would expect you to follow the numbers, right? Well, not so much for our next problem solver. He took a different choice. Let us welcome Harsh Kedavat, All India Rank 9 in NEET UG 2025. Hi, Harsh. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. We would love to know about your journey. So please tell us something about yourself and your family. So I am from Noida, Delhi, and I've been living in Delhi for the last 15 years. I've done my schooling in Delhi only. And uh, I started my NEET preparation in class 11th, okay. when I joined class 11th. And I've been constantly studying from class 11th and 12th. This is the first year. I'm not a dropper. <laughs> and uh, I just I just balanced my school and coaching for doing me this year. All right. So your family is full of commerce professionals, right? Yes. How did medical come into play? What inspired you? Actually, I from the beginning, I was actually fascinated by the medical stream. And in COVID year also, we saw the importance of doctors and how they can save one's life. That actually inspired me. And it's been a strong sense of, um, I don't know, humanity that drives me. And so I had been planning to join the science and specifically medical course only. I must say I've spoken to a lot of students. I've never received such an answer before. It's very heartwarming to hear what you said and uh, here's wishing you all the very best for your endeavors ahead. So tell us, uh, are you a topper only in studies or are you a topper in some of your hobbies as well? No, I, I've been, I didn't know, I used to do a lot of hobbies as well. Mm -hmm. I used to play guitar okay. in my free time. Okay. And actually I took out time from my schedule for guitar, even during the last two or three months before NEET also. Yeah. I had about 45 minutes of guitar time and I used to watch television also. Okay. Even before NEET. Because wow. that actually helps me focus and concentrate during the 10 or 12 hours that I took out for study itself. So when you say you watched television, that was just a few months before the exam? Even before the exam also. Right before the exam? Yes. Because that is that's, phenomenal. I used to watch television during the lunch and dinner times. And between those, I used to take small, small breaks too. Because it helps to rejuvenate your mind. Right, right. We all know that once you focus it on something, you're doing something uh, with a lot of effort and dedication. We tend to drain out our batteries a little bit and it's obviously required for us to recharge that and I think that's what uh, Harsh is mentioning here that that's what helped him to recharge his batteries. Okay, uh, let's talk about your preparation strategy. Of course, you had multiple subjects. Did you have different strategy for different subjects? Actually, the main thing that drove me was I love to study and for physics and chemistry during the 11th and 12th main course time. I used to do a lot of questions on physics and chemistry. Okay. I'd taken multiple extra books also and I'd completed them wholly because it enjoyed me to do and solve more questions. For bio, the main thing that I did was during the end three to four months, mm -hmm. I had about six to seven times of revision of the whole NCRTs. Wow. And for bio, the main thing is your concept should be clear and you should be and every line of NCRT should be at our tips. That's the importance that you're giving to NCRT. Yeah. Any other course material that you refer to apart from NCRT? Um, actually, I did. Uh, well, I used to travel by metro. Okay. And so it took about one and a half hour from one side. Okay. So during those three hours, I used to do eye tutor. And uh, if I could get a seat in metro, then I would read the module for what was being taught in the day. And I used to read the module before I went to coaching. And after coaching, I used to do eye tutor when I returned home. Okay, that's that's uh, quite nice. So what I can make out, Harsh, is that you seem to be very balanced and aware at the same time as to your schedule and what you need to do and what you do not need to do. And you swear by eight hours of sleep, am I right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so tell us uh, how important is sleep during preparation of an exam like NEET, which we all know can be very demanding. Yes, ma'am. Please. Keep. So sleep is very important for the brain to relax and it helped me rejuvenate. I cannot go without eight to nine hours of sleep. Okay. And even before NEET, my parents used to tell me, your syllabus is covered, go get 10 hours of sleep. 
So you got that encouragement from home as well. Yes, my parents used to force me to sleep. You will be stu uh, studying 10 to 12 hours per day, mm -hmm. but you will also be sleeping eight hours. And uh, they used to frame my revision and everything course or day plans. And so my parents were actually involved. And in quite actively, it seems that yes, they were involved. And how did that support system uh, feel mean to you? They were not the type that they would give us motivation speeches and mm -hmm. all. They used to support me in everything mm -hmm. and they were a part of that process. Right. So they used to frame my revision for say, let's say for the last three months, for the last month, for a seven day plan. Mm -hmm. My father and mother, they used to frame it and I was to follow it. And even my day's program that I will study during this time, this is my free time, this is my guitar time, they used to frame it. And they supported me all around. That really sounds like a, a phenomenal team effort, yes, Harsh. That's really nice. Uh, how has your journey been with Akash? It's been amazing, actually. In the class 11th, I had a peer group and I used to get scores around 650, 660. At that time, I used to think that's a lot. And when I joined class 12th, I got a, a great batch and a great peer group as well. And then I realized I could achieve much more. I used to get then 700 plus in each exam then. And then I realized that I could aim for aims really mm -hmm. and could achieve it. All right, that's great to know. So between the time of uh, after giving your examination to now when your course is going to begin soon, hmm. how have you relaxed yourself? Because of course you did not study in this time, I'm assuming. Right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so how did you just recoup? I, I started again guitar. Well, that's that's nice. Three to four hours guitar, just practicing new songs, trying to do something. And my parents promised that if I get Ames Delhi, yeah. they'll get me a great guitar now. Okay. And so have you got it? I'm just searching for the great guitar. Okay. okay. Nice. I wish we had a instrument here that you could play for us <laughs> and for all the students that are watching you. If there is one advice that you'd want to give to the future neat aspirants, what would that be? It's to enjoy study. The, Main thing is you have to have interest in what you study. You have to get uh, fun and enjoy w doing questions, doing solving things in learning new concepts. And uh, you don't have to take tension acts today. There are multiple streams, there are multiple. It's not like life will end if you didn't pass it through. And you just have to be in the moment and learn what you can. That's a very valuable piece of advice that you've given. Thank you so much, Harsh, and wishing you all the very best ahead. Thank you, ma'am. Now, uh, of course, not all of us are naturally inclined to enjoy studies. I'm one of them. I don't. But yes, we all have to find ways to enjoy, is, uh, is what Harsh said, that you should enjoy it. You should not take it so seriously. You should not feel so tensed because at the end of the day, it should be worth it. Right? Whatever you receive, it should be worth it. Uh, in a world where, where talkers are shown as you know, sleep deprived, robotic, or stressed. His story stands out. He played often, he plays guitar, yes, and uh, he slept well, and he has aced his meat in his first attempt. So that's an inspiration to draw from. Just relax, stay focused, breathe, think deep, and you're good to go.